Hey there, it is Rachel. And this week on my podcast, I talked about something that is really frustrating for so many of us as parents. And that is when we ask our kids to do something like take out the trash or do their homework or get off of their device. And they have these really big, immature responses. So maybe they're whining or they're complaining or they're being disrespectful. And this is especially frustrating for us when we ask them to do something that they know they that they knew they'd have to do, like get off of their device or take out their trash or do their homework, and yet they still have this response. So what do we do about this? Now, I will tell you that I have done lots of videos and podcast episodes, and I have lots of resources on how to teach kids to respond more effectively when they hear things that they don't like. However, all of these tools are ones you actually have to teach them proactively. You have to teach them how to deal with these situations, not in the moment, but at another time. So then the question becomes, what do we do in the moment when our kids are acting that way? Now, I don't have to tell you this, you could probably tell me, but letting them know in the moment all of the reasons their behavior isn't okay or they're being immature, none of that actually works to make them act more mature in the moment. Trying to tell them all the reasons they're wrong or shift their behavior in the moment is really ineffective, and there's actually a reason it's ineffective. Their behavior, their immature behavior, their whining, their complaining, is actually a sign that they are in what I call yuck. And many of you know that when human beings are in yuck, we can't access the part of our brain that allows us to act mature and responsible. So when they are doing their negative immature behavior, they are in yuck and can't access that part of the brain. So trying to get them to change in the moment it's ineffective and it's a waste of energy. So what do we do instead? What we actually need to do instead is focus not on what they're doing or changing their behavior, but on ourselves. And the reason we need to focus on ourselves is because number one, like I said, focusing on them, ineffective, it's not really gonna work very well. The other reason we really have to focus on ourselves though is because we need to model what it looks like when things aren't going the way we want, what it looks like to still be mature. So if you think about it, our kid, we want our kids to be mature when things aren't going their way. When we ask them to do things they don't want to do, we want them to be mature about it. But sometimes we don't even act mature when our kids aren't doing what they, we want them to do. So they have a reaction we don't like, and we tend to get sucked into it, and we make the situation worse. What we ultimately need to do is be a model in that moment of what it looks like to be mature even when things aren't going your way. So I wanna give you some tips for how to do this because for I don't think this is really easy for anybody, it's certainly not for me. So I wanna tell you what you can do and what you can say in those moments in order to actually calm yourself down. And I'm gonna start with two things that you can say to yourself. You don't need to say both of these things. These are just examples of things you can say to yourself. One of the phrases you can use is, gotta be a model. Now you can say this more formally, I have to be a model or I should be a model, but I like the gotta be a model. I feel like it flows really well and it's something you can say over and over. Gotta be a model, gotta be a model. You are modeling what this behavior that you wanna see looks like. Another thing that you could say in the moment is to yourself, don't get sucked into the yuck. Don't get sucked into the yuck because ultimately that's what you wanna teach them not to get sucked into the yuck, not to be controlled by the yuck. And you really wanna learn how to not get, not get sucked into your child's yuck. So again, these are things you're saying to yourself. Now, what can you do in that moment? Because if we're being honest, we have a lot of energy inside, a lot of frustrated energy. So here's some of the things you can do with that energy. If you are more of a thinking person like I am, I'm, I'm someone who's always in my head, one of the things you can do is actually do a mental exercise. So I use the mental exercise sometimes of going through the alphabet and skipping a letter. So I'll go A, C, E, and I'll go through the alphabet. And interestingly, when our brains can do that type of mental exercise, they realize that we're safe and it helps us to calm down. Another quick mental exercise is if you're aware of the colors of the rainbow, you can actually look around the room and find three different things of each color of the rainbow. So three red things, three orange things, three yellow things. And as you actually do that, again, your brain's gonna start to calm down. If you are more of a physical person, you may need to actually move your body. So what I suggest you do is maybe find the furthest wall in the room and walk back and forth four or five times. What you're doing is, again, you're calming yourself down, but you're also modeling what it looks like to handle situations that don't make you happy in a mature way. And this is ultimately what we wanna teach our kids how to do. So I hope that gives you some ideas for what you can do when your kids are being immature, you need to model the maturity, which isn't our favorite thing to do. 
And um, if you want some even more tips on what to do when your kids are being immature, when they're disappointed and frustrated, you can check out my latest episode. The podcast is Your Parenting Long Game, episode 39. And I will be back again soon with another tip for you. Take care.